After accessing Cloud Control at cloudcontrol.netapp.com, the login screen provides two options to sign in. Cloud Control provides data center options in all major geo regions, including North America, Europe, and Asia Pacific, making the service available to customers around the world. Having these regional data centers also improves latency, data sovereignty, and customer privacy through a balanced workload. If you are a new customer, then you need to sign up for Cloud Control. You can sign up with Office 365 or with a NetApp SSO. For this demo, we will sign up with Office 365. Once selected, the user, Nemo, is redirected to Azure Active Directory for authentication. Next, a list of permissions requested by Cloud Control is displayed. Then, Nemo is presented with a registration form to complete. Cloud Control will never store Nemo's credentials locally. After signing up for Cloud Control, Nemo can configure the appropriate services and storage using the configuration wizard. At the beginning of the configuration wizard, a list of permissions related to Cloud Control is listed. After clicking Next, one or more application services can be selected. In this demo, Microsoft Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive for Business is selected. Cloud Control provides Amazon S3 storage as an option for backup. Cloud Control also gives you the option to bring your own storage, BYOS, to store the backup data. It offers Amazon S3, Azure Blob, and Storage Grid Web Scale. This demo shows the configuration of BYOS and the Amazon S3 option. Once the selection is made, a preview screen is presented to confirm before saving. After completing the subscription successfully, Office 365 is available in the Services section. Now let's look at the dashboard view which provides detailed information about the active services, user and site statistics, job stats, and more. Like on-premise backup solutions, Cloud Control provides the ability to tier the users or sites based on SLAs. Cloud Control has three predefined backup policies. These policies vary in backup frequencies and data retention periods. During the initial configuration, by default, the data is placed in the unprotected tier. To move a user to another tier, select Services from the left pane navigation menu. Next, select the application service which needs to be protected. In this demo, Microsoft Office Exchange is selected. Click View next to the number of unprotected mailboxes and then select the users that you need to move to a different tier. Click Groups, choose the appropriate tier, and click Apply. In this example, user Aaron is moved to Tier 1. Once users are added to a tier, an automated backup of the tier is scheduled based on the tier policy. Anytime you deem necessary, you can perform an immediate backup of your email data. Simply select the user or users you need to backup and click Backup Now. After you confirm the request for the immediate backup, you can view the job progress. Cloud Control provides detailed job progress status for all application services under the job section. This information is also accessible under the job section on the left pane navigation. In this example, users Aaron and Alan are protected using the Backup Now option. Backups in Cloud Control always occur at the top hierarchy level. However, restores can be performed at various levels of granularity. For example, in Microsoft Exchange Online, Cloud Control allows you to restore at the mailbox, folder, and item level. If you select to restore emails, you can drill down to select specific folders for restore or drill down even further to select specific individual emails for restore. The data can be searched using the appropriate keywords and restored to the same mailbox or to a different mailbox. In this example, you can view the job progress to see the details of the restore. The restore operations are non-disruptive, which means, by default, restored items are placed in a restored folder. The administrator can also choose to overwrite the data depending on the requirement. In this demo, Alan's emails are restored and the items are overwritten. 